I'm Kelly Ellis, certified design coach and home makeover expert. I'm here with Ashley Green, best known for her role in the Twilight series, and her fiance, Paul Corey. We have got a lot to do in the living room, the biggest room in the house, and where they love to entertain their friends and family. This is the main okay. entertainment space, correct? Yes, correct. Okay, so you like to have your friends over. We need this to be functional. The biggest issue with the living room are Ashley's love affair with monochromatic and gray, and their two mismatched styles. I really see a mix here. Marble and totally rustic. My side of the room, her side of the room. I'm going to take them through a little exercise that I call love it or hate it. Okay, so we're back in your living room. That we are. To talk about what is really gonna stay and what isn't. You bought him pieces, you bought her pieces, you brought some stuff in, but we still don't love the space. So this is a little appreciation exercise. Okay. Love it, hate it, or meh. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna point to an object and you're gonna instantly give me your honest reaction to that object, okay? okay. Love it, hate it, or meh? Let's do it. Okay, let's start with your photos on the wall. Love it. Meh. He hates our photos. I don't want the photos to be in the living room. No explanation, nope. Lights on the wall. Hate it. Hate it. Okay, those go. Side table here with a marble top. It can leave. Love it. Okay, sofa. Baby. Yeah, we're keeping that. Do you love it? Love yeah. it. Love it. What about those pillows? Meh. Nah. <laughs> Out with the old, in with the new. <laughs> Treadmill. Hate it. Oh. Hate it. What about the coffee <laughs> table? Coffee table. Love it. Flowers. Love it. Yeah. Okay, what about the wood? Meh. I mean, it can go somewhere else. Is that a meh or love it or hate it? Meh. Meh. Okay, candle. Yeah. Meh. meh. Okay, meh. So, the ladder. <laughs> I like the ladder. Love it. The corner plant. Hate it. Hate it. The puppies. Love it. I love them. <laughs> the chair in the corner. Gray chair in the corner. Meh. Hate it. Our horse. Eh. Uh, Meh. Yeah. The box. See you later. Hate it. You gotta say love it or hate it or meh. <laughs> Table. Hate it. Love it. This is so telling, kids. The matching chair. Hate. Hate. And I bought them. But I hate them now. Okay. We have gone through every item in the space and we assigned a love it, hate it, or mess. We love the side table, sofa, coffee table, flowers, of course. And we're a little meh about the ladder and that table. So yes. we only have really three things coming back in the room. Okay. Which is really, really good. That helps me. Okay. But think about every day that you use this space and how many things in here are meh or hate. Yeah. We gotta move all of this out and figure out how to incorporate these three things that are left, maybe four, yeah. and really make it work for us. So you don't realize it, but every time you see an object that you don't like, you instantly assign an emotion to it, and that's how you feel about it, right? Yeah. So we talked about function, flow, and feel. Yeah. The room has to feel good. This is your main living area. We are not happy in this space at all. We cannot have this space be a majority of hated or met. It needs to be fun. We need to love everything in it, including the puppies. We gotta move all of this out and really make it work for us. Okay. Anyway, we got a lot to do. Today we had design therapy. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what to expect, honestly. We learned a lot. The process was enlightening. The living room was fun. We went through the room and picked out every item and said what we loved or hated or couldn't care one way or the other. It's very interesting to see what I hated, what he loved, and vice versa. Because I don't think we ever would have done it unless Kelly made us. Yeah. Because I think neither of us ever wants to hurt each other's feelings. Very true. <laughs> it was, I think, a really healthy and cool thing to be able to do. We learned a lot about Ashley and Paul today. We learned how having a little time to make a decision can actually work in a couple's favor when figuring out how to redesign a room. Their true feelings came out today about each and every item in the room. It's about bringing balance into the relationship and the home. I now know what needs to go and what can stay. Oh, oh my. my god, it looks so good.